All right, so let's take this question here. This question says, what volume of 0.1 mole per liter solution of CUS? CUS is the formula for a compound called copper 2 sulfide. All right, so CUS is pronounced copper 2 sulfide or perhaps copper sulfide in short. So the question is, what volume of 0 .10, 0 0.1 mole per liter solution of copper sulfide can be made from 23.9 gram of copper sulfide or copper 2 sulfide. All right, so first, so in this question here, we have to find volume. Of course, volume will be measured in liter as we said. So what am I giving here? So let's list start giving parameters. What am I giving here? First things first, number one, I'm giving mole per liter. Mole per liter is the same thing as the molarity or what there? The molar concentration. So I'm giving molarity. Molarity is equal to 0 0.1 mole per liter. That's the first thing there. Also, I'm giving 23.9. 23.9, the SI unit here is gram, and gram is used to measure what there? Mass. So I'm giving about to the mass of the compound. Mass has been equal to 23.9 gram. All right. In this case, we're asked to find the volume. All right. And what we know is that molarity, molarity is equal to mole, that's in MOL, all over volume in what's there? Liter. So I have this. So how do we solve this? Molarity itself is 0 0.1. So I have a value for this. I max to find volume. If only I have the value for the mole, I can now solve this. Of course, I don't have the value for the mole. I'll have to calculate mole. How do you calculate mole? Recall your formula. So recall that the formula is that mole is equal to mass all over molar mass. Okay, so I'm giving the mass as 23.9. This value is there. So my next task will be to find the molar mass of copper 2 sulfide. So let me get the molar mass, the molar mass of copper 2 sulfide. That's equal to, for copper, the atomic mass of copper here is 64. So it becomes 64 plus, for sulfur, the atomic mass of sulfur is 32. So I have 32. If I combine this, 64 plus 32 gives you 96 gram per mole. All right. So the molar mass of copper sulfide is 96 gram per mole. Now, if this is correct, my next task will now be to find the mole. From here, the mole, therefore, is equal to the mass, which is mass, which is 23.9 all over the molar mass, which is 96. If I work on this, it becomes 23.9. Twenty three point nine divided by ninety six. That's about zero point. I'll give this in three decimal places. Two four nine. This is in mol. So I have zero point two four nine mol. That's the mole. If I've gotten the mole here, let's now find volume. So if you now substitute, we said molarity, which is zero point one. So 0 0.1, which represents molarity, is equal to mole. The mole here, as we found this, is 0 0.249 all over volume. So I have volume. From here, we can now find volume. What do we do here? We cross multiply. So it's all over 1. So I have this times this, 0 0.1 times volume is equal to this times this, 1 times 0.249. I have this. To get the value of the volume, I'll have to divide this by 
everything attached to the volume, which is 0 0.1. It becomes all over 0 0.1, all over 0 0.1. From here, this cancels this. So I have that volume is equal to 1 times 0 0.249 gives you 0 0.249 all over 0 0.1. That means the volume is equal to 0 0.249 divided by 0 0.1. That gives you 2.49. The volume is measured in liters. So the answer is 2.49 liters. This is how we solve this question.